Hi students, this is physical education for the week of January 25th, 2021. Hi students. We have been in distance learning for almost an entire year. I can't believe it. <clears throat> and you've been such troopers working with little to no equipment. It's really difficult. I know for some people, they don't have room and they don't have a lot of space. And I really appreciate your efforts to um, make things happen. So typically in the past, the fifth graders have done a test called the fitness gram. And so the fitness gram essentially tests different components of your physical abilities. And this year and last year, actually, they canceled the test. But it's always been something that I wanted to do with the entire district. It's called the Presidential Youth Fitness Award. And there are this, the, I can do it with the whole district now because everybody does PE with me. So <clears throat> there are five components to um, the Presidential Youth Fitness Program and the award. Aero aerobic capacity is the first one, and we've talked a little bit about aerobic capacity, but we're going to go a little bit more in depth. So that's how well your heart and your lungs work together to get oxygen to your muscles. So things like jumping rope, running, um, walking really fast, things that make you feel out of breath and hot and sweaty. We are going to talk about muscular strength, how much force can be exerted by a muscle or a group of muscles in a single effort muscular endurance, how long your muscles are able to continue working against um, less than a maximum resistance. So those are things like push-ups, curl-ups, um, pull-ups, lifting weights, anything that you have to do where you have to use your muscles. <clears throat> Flexibility is the fourth area. So range of motion available around a particular joint. So like stretching, body composition. So we are going to do the presidential youth fitness program at home. So it's not going to include body composition and we're going to do things a little bit differently because we can't be outside um, running as a group on a track or on the pacer. So we are going to do things a little bit differently. So why is this all important? So I'm not going to go into a bunch of the science and whatever and a bunch of reasons why and all the research, but I am going to tell you that when you're physically active and you have good nutrition, it makes you happier, it makes you um, more attentive so you pay attention better and it makes you more productive. So ki when kids are physically active, you perform better at school, you have better attendance and you have a higher self-esteem. So that makes you feel really good about yourself. So there is a huge correlation, which means that kids who are more active tend to do better in school. So they do the fitness gram test or the physical fitness test as a measure of how physically fit you are. And so we are going to look at those, or we're gonna look at four of the components, and then um, we will look at um, aerobic capacity on Monday which is today. We will look at muscular strength and endurance on Wednesday. And then we will look at flexibility on Friday. Then we will take a baseline test. So a baseline test means how well you perform in the different categories. And there's different performance levels for different ages. And I will show you all of that. And then You'll have your baseline and then we'll talk about ways that you can improve and then you will practice those four areas. So you'll practice some aerobic um, capacity exercises. You'll practice some muscular strength and endurance exercises. You will practice different stretches and then sometime, I don't know if it's going to be at the end of February or the first part of March. I have to figure that part out, but you will, retake the test and then if you meet either the standard or the gold standard and I'll show you what I'm talking about um, in about a week then you will get a lovely certificate. 
This is what the certificate looks like. So it will have your name and the school name. And of course it will be virtual, but you'll still have the certificate. Let's get into the lesson. So all of the activities we are doing this month require UNO cards. Now, I don't have UNO cards, so we are going to improvise. And we've improvised before. So improvise means just using something in place of that. So if you have UNO cards, great. If you don't have UNO cards, here are some ways you can improvise. So one way is using different colored markers or crayons. So you need yellow, green, blue, and red. So yellow, green, blue, and red. I was also able to find yellow, green, blue, and red paper, but I had to search for those. I had to search for my pens. I had to search for pieces of paper this color. And I didn't want to search, but I just did that so you would have different examples. You can also use crayons. If you have um, red, green, blue, and yellow socks, you can use those. You can use whatever you can as long as they are um, different colors. So what I did and what I'm going to choose to use are pieces of paper where I just wrote the colors. Red, blue, green, and yellow. All right, so you need to keep these near your computer because all of the activities are going to involve these four colors. So I already told you that we will be focusing on aerobic capacity today. So it's how well your heart and your lungs work together to get oxygen to your muscles. So you need to make sure that you are using um, intensity so you're doing it as hard as you can and you're doing it at a fast pace so a lot of the things that i looked at i wanted to um try and find some information out about heart rate and kids and it was a really mixed message like there were a lot of different things but the thing that i read that stood out to me the most was that kids students are really good at regulating themselves so you don't push yourself too much so if you are working really hard, you should be breathing hard, your heart should be pounding, but you shouldn't feel dizzy or lightheaded and you shouldn't be like just so exhausted at the end that you um, can't do anything the rest of the day. So you are going to regulate yourself. So if you start to feel like you really, really can't breathe or that your heart is just racing so fast that it's too much, then you need to reduce your intensity. All right, so with that being said, here is the game for today. You are going to take your cards, red, green, yellow, blue, your crayons, your cards, your pieces of paper that you wrote down, and you are going to put them as far away from you as you can, so you have to run to get them. I am not going to, um, for the sake of time, put them super far. So I'm gonna go um, set them just a little ways away from me, okay? I can set them down, I can put them in a bowl, whatever, just make sure that you're traveling safely through your house or wherever you're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna go put them down. All right, so for the first game, I'm gonna draw a card and I am going to do that activity for a count of 25. All right, so I'm gonna run, and my first color is red. So I drew red. If I draw red, I am going to jump rope 25 times as fast as I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Then I'm gonna take my card, and I'm gonna put it back in the pile and I am going to draw another card. This time I drew blue. If I draw blue, I'm going to do 25 jumping jacks as fast as I can. All right, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it back. This time I drew green. 
If I draw green, I am going to do washing machines. So washing machines are your upper body twists one way and your lower body twists the other way. And my feet are going to be jumping side to side. So I'm twisting like a washing machine. And I'm going to do that 25 times as fast as I can. And then I'm gonna run over and get my last card, which is yellow. And if I'm yellow, I'm going to run in place 25 times as fast as I can. And then I'm gonna take this card and I'm going to put it back. I am going to do that as long as I can until I'm sweating, I'm red, my face is red, my neck is red, I'm breathing really hard, and my heart is pounding. So it's really important to A, listen to your body. So if you're dizzy, you're lightheaded, um, you're exhausted, I don't want you to get to the point of exhaustion, that you stop. I'm hoping that you can play this game for 15 minutes. If you can play longer, great. If you can't play long, 15 minutes, that's also fine. So play as long as you can. It's important to have good aerobic capacity because your heart is a muscle and you need to exercise your muscles. So when you exercise your heart, your heart gets stronger, your lungs work better, and you can live a long, healthy life. All right, this is the aerobic capacity UNO game. On the next page, I am going to print out the directions so you have them so you can hit pause when that page comes up. All right, here are the directions. You can just hit pause after I'm done talking so you can have them up. If you draw red, you do 25 jumping rope. You blue, you do 25 jumping jacks. Green, you do 25 washing machines. And yellow, 25 run in place. You try and do that as many times as you can in a row. So some people are only gonna be able to do it once or twice. Some people are going to be able to do it 40 times. It is entirely up to you. I hope you have fun.